Welcome to our usual hovers. I'm Economicon, and today you'll play for the game The Rain Man, which is from the same developers as the Happy Hills Homicide. But we should really watch our backs while in this small peaceful town of Crystal Pine Grove. But while it was once criminal free, this town is now being haunted by numerous murders committed by the infamous Rain Man. I have to get ready for work. Okay, so take the sandwiches, take the purse and brush the teeth. The Rain Man strikes again. Another murder by the menacing Rain Man. The body was found drowned and cut open. Again after a rainy summer evening. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. Also explains how you got your name. So wait, does he commit the, the murders while it's raining? I suppose that's a good way to avoid witnesses. Also, it'd be rather unfortunate if this game was set in England. You would have so many murders. Dad and I will be back by Sunday. Don't forget to lock the doors. Love, Mum. No problem, Mum. Oh, jeez. Oh, that is one loud alarm. Okay, I get it. I'm supposed to be going to work. I'm just trying to commit hygiene. Wait. Wait, is the bathroom only past my parents' room? Oh, that, that seems like it might end up being dangerous. Wait, what's this? This is where Dad keeps his gun. Never liked it. Oh. But well, that might be important to remember for later. I should leave for work at the diner. Don't want to miss the bus again. Okay. We can go find this bus. So if we ever feel like we're getting stalked, at least we know where we can defend ourselves now. But the good news is, I, it's not currently raining, right? I'm guessing that's not my car. Well, I don't need my coat, so hopefully that means it's sunny. I am able to sprint with a shift key. How very human! Excellent. Okay, now where's this bus? Um, oh. Bus stop the opposite way. Gotcha. So, uh, what's the general weather forecast acting like today, then? Oh, hello. Afternoon, Susie. Off to work. Be wary of the rainstorm tonight. Afternoon, Mr. Craven. Thanks. I'll be home before the storm. What's the bet and we're going to get asked to stay late at work? And we're going to walk home in the rain. Am I, am I the victim? I feel like we're opening up this story as playing as the victim. I'll probably have a different character. Oh. Jesus, Andy. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Sorry, Susie. Tripped. I, uh, was looking for my watch. In the bins? That's unfortunate. So bad before. Megan is just a friend, I swear. If you say so. So, uh, is that... Date still on this Friday? I'm in a rush, Andy. Talk to you later, I guess. Uh, well, I hate to break it to Andy, but I'm potentially going to die tonight, so... I don't think that date's going to happen. Wait, is there anything else past her? I'm just being nosy if there's anyone else I can talk to. Oh, newspaper! The peaceful town of Happy Hills is being plagued by numerous murders. The latest victim was killed with a coat hanger. Oh, you know what? I do love the Happy ha Happy Hills Homicide game. It's just so, so satisfying. It's just playing as a psycho serial killer slasher. I should have brought my coat with me just to... Oh, jeez. What did I tell you that we're going to get caught in this vein? So, um... Am I about to be murdered? Scream soap! Well, hi there! Because the good news is I think I survived. Okay, now where is my job? It's gonna be this way. I'm gonna laugh if that was, um, like just a red herring and the guy we saw there wasn't actually the killer. Hello there, miss. How about a fun night, huh? Stay away from me. I'm out of here. How's everyone doing? Having a good night? It's very rainy. What? Finally on time, Susie. Start by serving coffee to the guest, love. Hey, Dave. Right on it. Okay, serve coffee to every guest. Nah, uh, you get no choice. 
You will take the coffee. Everyone needs the coffee. Appreciate it, Susie. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I'll come all the way down to you. Why are you sitting so far away? You're making my job harder. You look exactly like her. Just as pretty. <laughs> are you talking about my mom? That. You're a little bit creepy. You know what? You don't deserve coffee. Can I take the coffee back? Thanks, Susie. Dave, the usual, please. Hey, Dave, you want coffee? Well, if you do, you get it last. Took you long enough. Bless you, sweetheart. See? This is the reaction I wanted. You, you don't deserve the coffee. You, you deserve all of the coffee. Here you go. Thanks, Susie. Right. Seen any suspicious folks around here lately? Well, it's a diner, sir. It's full of them. Why do you ask? Clever girl. I'm looking into the Rain Man case. Don't want to spook you. But it seems that all victims pass this diner. Keep your eyes open, Susie. It could be anyone. Anyone. Anyone, you say? Even me? Listen, I can't help it. I'm just thinking a happy house homicide would wear the killer. I'm like, maybe that's the plot twist. Maybe I will be the killer. And then that person in the raincoat really will be a red herring. Susie, look. Hamburger and fries for the guy in the corner. Wait, do you mean the detective or the crew? Oh, no, Joe. Is that creepy, Joe? Ah. Well, apparently you're not creepy enough not to be nice, food. That's looking delicious, sweetie. Let's be careful, miss. He takes girls just like you. Previous waitress found out the hard way. Enjoy your meal, sir. Okay, who wants food next? Susie, would you fetch me a box of burgers from the back, love? Righto, I can do that. I am very good at my job. Okay, burgers. Oh, it's the one pictured box. I can identify this. What? I'm locked in. Someone please open the door. I swear to God. I will throw the burgers at your head, sir. Are you, are you hiding in here? Hmm. Well, there doesn't seem to be a second exit, so there's no way he can get inside, unless he's in a trash bag already. But then again, would that man wouldn't add up, right, if he got off when I got on the bus? Unless that really isn't the rain man. Hello? This isn't working. Please! I'm trying, I'm trying to do my job, but it's not working. It's quite literally no where I can go. Oh, there we go. The hell are you making all that bucket for? Someone locked me in there. The door wouldn't open. Must have fallen into the lock. A new guest came in. Just take his order, love. Oh, so maybe he did follow after me. Okay, where's this new guest? Oh, most people have gone. Oh, it's you. Hi, Andy. Andy, you can't keep showing up here. I'm just hungry, Susie. Can I have a waffle, please? Sure, but that's all. You need to leave after that. You can't avoid me forever, Susie. No, just until one of you gets murdered. Potentially me. Probably you. One waffle, please, Dave. Coming right up, love. Three hours later. Why don't you head on home, Susie? Don't want you to miss the last bus. Thanks, Dave. Have a good night. Good night, Caleb. Okay. Did Andy go? Looks like he did. But do I really want to be walking home in the rain, though? It would probably be better for me if we let the rain stop, and then at least I might not be murdered. Latest rain man victim revealed. The last victim's identity has been uncovered. Her name was Ashley Turner, a former waitress at the local diner. Huh. Oh, that's, um, Andy's seat, right? Yeah, you're still here, buddy. I said, was there anybody actually down here? I didn't check before I went in. Nah. Well, at least there's nothing there now. Don't know if there was anything there earlier or not. I'm watching you. No, no, no! What do I have to do now? 
Well, that sucks, miss. Yes, you can see you there. Sorry about my manners. In the diner, miss? Going through a rough marriage. No problem, sir. Did you miss the bus as well? Oh, no. My wife is picking me up. Take care now, miss. Oh, this is a bit of a problem. Am I going to have to get a lift by the creepy guy? Oh, hello. That's a real bummer, Susie. Would you like to borrow my umbrella? I'm waiting for Dave to close up anyways. I can give you a ride, lady. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I'd rather walk. Creep. Back off, dude. You're going to be fine then, Susie. I like the walk in the rain. Thanks for the umbrella. This is what I'm saying. We seem rather unconcerned about potentially getting murdered. As if we know the identity of the murderer. I'm kind of hoping we do end up being the killer. Just because it would amuse me so much. Ah, that's what I thought. Keep driving, buddy. I don't reckon we live too far, though. Aww. Aren't you a friendly pup? How you doing? You know, I think you keep trying to jump scare me. Sadly for you, you're not. it's not working. Nice attempts, though. I'm not getting in your car. I will hit you with the umbrella. Hey, you're the miss from the diner. What are you doing here all alone? I, uh, missed my bus. Gotta walk home. In the pouring rain? Oh, no. Let old Joe give you a ride. You know what? No, no I don't think I will. Hmm, all right then. Suit yourself. Do you know what? Maybe I misjudged him. At least he drove off when I told him to bugger off. Wait, the reigning man sees all. Come on then, reigning man. See me, I dare you. I'm trying to work out if those were my footsteps or not. They sounded a lot heavier. <laughs> Do you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not the killer. Maybe the killer is just being a creepy guy hiding in the bush right now. Oh, that was unfortunate. A parked car in the middle of nowhere. It looks familiar. Wasn't that the diner? I could have sworn it was parked behind the, um, Keeper Joe's van. Oh, London Bridge. My lady. Hello? Is someone there? Walking home was a mistake. I'd best turn back to the diner and ask Dave or Caleb for a ride. I mean, do we have to? Wrong way. But I want to say hi. Okay. I'll leave. Can't believe you wouldn't let me come and just greet the guy. He might be friendly, or there might be multiple killers. Okay, he may, there's multiple killers. He has a ghost so he can teleport. Or, that's not the killer, just a creepy guy. Maybe it's Andy again, who knows? Wait, are we actually gonna make it back? No, I don't think we are. Why don't we just keep going? Oh, who are you? What do you want from me? Please, just walk away. I won't tell nobody. What the? To be fair, we're not going to tell anybody if we're dead. I want to stop. Do you think we should stop? Let's stop. Oh, I couldn't resist. Are you going to bleed me dry? What? Where am I? How nice of you to join me, Susie. Make yourself comfortable. Why are you doing this? What have I ever done wrong to you? You know damn well what you did to me. All the blood is on your hands. What did I do? I am reborn, as will you, cleansed by the water. Wash away the guilt. Wash away my hate for you. Farewell, mother. Wait, mother? What? Oh, I think I died. Watery grave. I think two of seven. What did you mean by mother? 
You know what? I'm kind of curious. I mean, I'm assuming this is going to be a game over as well, right? We get in his van. Let's just test it. Hop on in, miss. But you know what? Maybe this is the ending that gets me home safely. Either that or he's going to run us off the road. Good thing I saw you walking there in that god awful weather. Thank you, sir. Call me Joe. Listen, sorry about my behavior at the diner. I'm not really a people's person. Don't you mind what I said about that killer. It's just that... Go on then, I can take it. Well, they're always young brunettes, just like yourself. I'm not spooked that fast. Why would he come after me? Of course he won't, just saying. Maybe dye your hair blonde or something. <laughs> Sorry, people, just be careful. This town has seen enough death. Thank you, Joe. Very kind. You're welcome, miss. Take care now. There's some crazy folks. Oh, miss, here, take my lighter. May help you feel safe in the dark. Oh! I mean, he stole my umbrella. Maybe I misjudged him. I was definitely expecting to die there. Susie, sorry to startle you on a dark evening. Detective, what are you doing here? Am I a suspect? What are you doing out here by yourself? In the cold night and in the rain. I just got off work, detective. Why do you ask? Just a little odd, don't you think? Girl like you should be inside, safe at home. I am about to, until you showed up at my doorstep. Lurking behind a tree like a creeper, I might add. Fair enough, Susie. My apologies. Have a good night. Do you reckon this is the ending where I need to remember with the goodness? Oh, parents? Mother, is that you? Oh, guess they had the wrong number. Back to my TV. What do you reckon, the phone's gonna go off again? Maybe three? There it is! Listen. Hello, Susie. What is your favorite scary movie? Oh, oh, you're really coming in with the heavy hitting questions. You know what? The thing. John Carpenter's the thing. That's my final answer. Jessica, that's not funny. <laughs> I am sorry, Susie. Just messing with you, girl. How did you make that creepy breathing sound anyway? Breathing? What breathing? Just asked you about your favorite scary movie. Stop messing with me. It's been a weird night. Speaking of weird, are you still going to date Andy? No way. He really messed it up. What would you do? Jessica? Hello? Jessica? Uh, I think we should test our phone to see if the wire's been cut. Oh, probably not. What do you reckon? The killer's gonna walk past our window? Either that way, our entire electricity's gonna go off. Someone's at the door! At this time of night! Well, it'd be rather for it. That's rude. It'd be rather foolish for us to answer. Let's do it. Checking through the peephole. It's Andy. What's he doing here? Hmm. Do we answer to Andy? Nah, I don't think we do. I don't trust this. I'd best ignore him. Did I just get Andy murdered? Then again, I'm pretty sure all the victims are female, right? I'm sure he'll be fine. Ooh, Crystal Pine news. Good evening, Crystal Pine Grove. My name is Tom Delomis. Police unveiled news about the Rain Man. Get this, folks. 
his very first victim. Her name was Mary Baker. Police couldn't identify her immediately, as she was found too mangled. Mary was found in her bathtub, drowned and all cut up. Seemed a little more personal than the others. Wait, wasn't that how he just died a minute ago? She was just released from a mental institution, where she was admitted after drowning her teenage son. His name is Jason Baker. He was dead for eight minutes, but was revived. He went missing shortly after. That seems too easy. I don't think it's going to be Jason. I mean, it would make sense for it to be, but it seems far too easy. Police is unsure if the son has a connection with the vein man. The boy's father's whereabouts are unknown. That woman, Mary, she looks just like me. Uh, then again, I suppose it makes sense for Jason to be the killer and calling his mother if we look like her, his dead mother. That sound came from upstairs. I said we go get the gun. The gun is a good idea. Strange. I swear this window was closed. Listen, we, we should grab the gun. Not gonna investigate? We're at my room. At least my window's closed. Okay. Hello, Susie. Why don't you take a good look in the mirror? I'm assuming the mirror's gonna be in the bathroom. Have I got my lights on yet, though? Hello, Susie. Is that... There's someone in my house. The detective outside, he can help. I still think the gun can help. Oh, the gun is gone. Okay, the gun can't help us. Also, the door's closed again. I think I knew where he was. Detective, you dead. He locked the door. You know, that tune doesn't work anymore. We're no longer on the bridge. Who? Who is there? Stay back! I'm warning you! There's cops outside! You are in trouble! I have to run! The garage! Nope, I'm out of here! I wonder if this would be a different ending, though. Alright, Susie, think! Think! Um, this? A sharp screwdriver! I can use this as a weapon! I can face him head on, or escape through the garage door! I say, embrace the killer. Come on, I can take you. Unless he's got a shotgun, and then I get shot in the face. Ah! Oh, damn! You will pay for that. Oh, oh, damn, Andy! I misjudged you. Susie, are you alright? Andy, what? What are you doing here? I swear to God, if this turns out to be some kind of scream scenario where Andy is in it with the Rayman and there's two killers and he's just doing this so he can impress us again, I am going to scream. I found a dead cop outside and heard fighting and screaming. Thought you were in danger. Oh, Andy, I am so sorry for everything. So am I. So am I. Wait. After rain comes sunshine. Oh, okay, it just just in there. I don't know if I still trust him though. Okay, so we let's just go through the garage this time. We can try and escape. Okay, think. Okay, screwdriver, excellent. Wait, embrace the killer? No. Time to go. Wait. Jesus, Andy! What are you doing here? I found a dead cop outside your house, and I saw a creepy guy lurking around. Thought you were in danger. You just happened to be around when my house is getting invaded? Trust me, Susie. That's just a coincidence. I am not the stalker. We should run to the police station. It's just a block away. You know, Andy, I still don't trust you. Stay away from me, Andy! I'm going this way. I'm assuming it's the correct way. Maybe I should have just knocked at my neighbor's door. 
Do you reckon we just got Andy killed? Was that a gunshot? One second. Andy? Andy, are you dead? Oh, he's certainly gone. Oh, damn. Yeah, that cop's very much dead. Impaled on a bar. What happened to Andy? Maybe he went inside the house. Even though he's hiding the trash cans again. Oh, there's the killer's car. Well, at least we know he's not in it. Susie, what's wrong? I heard screaming. Caleb, oh, thank God. Someone's after me. What? Where is he? I don't know. He was inside my house. I managed to escape. I'm on my way to the police station. Good call, Susie. My car is down the street. Much faster, follow me. No, don't do it. He's going to the killer's car. Don't do it. Oh, Billy, I don't get a choice. We know what car he's going to, don't we? It's going to be the killer's car. Okay, there's nothing for it. Here's my car, Susie. Hop in. God damn you, Caleb. Huh. I don't think this is the place. Wait. What's at the top? Oh, I think it's just covering the logs, right? Okay. Uh, well, it's a bad idea for me to uh, follow you, but I guess there's room for it. I'm gonna get murdered. My question is, though, were you acting alone? Where are we exactly? This is the old abandoned lumber mill. No one has been here since 1979. The rain man will never find us here. Don't you worry. Yeah, Vein Man. I... I never mentioned the Vein Man. You're as sharp as a knife, Susie. I let that one slip, didn't I? What I mean? Yeah, I guess this as soon as I saw your car, sir. You! You are the Vein Man. I trusted you. Never trust strangers, Susie. Even if you do know their name. No. Be still, mother. We are almost there. You notice the screwdriver is still in your pocket. Mother! I'm guessing your name's really, uh, Jason, huh? So to be fair, could we really trust him? We never knew his name. Oh, blood in the water end! Maybe I really did misjudge Andy. Okay then, let's try and see if I can actually trust Andy. So what, uh, are you in together? Oh, maybe this will change things. Maybe the Rayman won't try anything now that we're there. There's two of us. That was definitely a gunshot though, right? Come on Andy, keep up. We're going to survive this. Let's climb over this fence, Susie. It's much shorter to the police station. Oh right, give me a boost. Oh, we both did make it. And the rain man wasn't there this time. Okay. Almost there, Susie. One of us isn't going to make it, surely. I don't trust this at all. What did I tell you? Oops. Sorry, Andy. That wasn't my fault. Um, I'm just going to go. Is he stop following me? <laughs> That's what I thought. What are you going to do now? If I get too close, can you stab me through the bars? Yes, you just wait there. The cops will be right outside. Help me, please. Whoa, whoa, calm down, miss. What's wrong? It's him. He's after me. He killed my boyfriend. He is at the gate outside. Who is after you? Who is outside? The rain man. He is here! Alright miss, sit tight. I will take a look. Let me guess. Nobody was there. I'm sorry miss. There's nothing outside. No body of your boyfriend either. You have to look better. He will kill me. Listen, there's nothing I can do right now. I will have you protected and we will look for your boyfriend. Let's go home, miss. Unknown waters. Ending six.
Well, that was so Andy. So I'm wondering then, do we get a different ending if he kills us in our house instead? Try me! Wait, no, we're just at the top again. Ah, oh, is it the same ending? Oh, that's different. I know why you're doing this. I remind you of her, don't I? Your mother. You must be Jason. Jason Baker. God damn it, Susie. Don't use the disgusting name. Jason Baker is dead. C Caleb, it's you. Yes, mother. My name is Caleb. I am reborn after you drowned me. As will you, mother. Wash away my hate for you. Jason, listen. I am not your mother. Your mother is dead. What your mother did to you wasn't fair, but drowning me will not take away the pain. Just let me go, Jason. Let it be over. You're ruining it, Susie. You're ruining it all. Oh. Well, apparently we're ruining it if we save our lives. Save my life somehow, for now. How do I get myself down? Hold up. I still have Joe's lifetime in my pocket. I can burn the ropes. What if that basically burn us at the same time? Oh, it's kind of lucky we didn't land on our head, huh? Well, I guess we gotta follow Jason out of her. Maybe she have took the boat with me. Oh, hi there. That's a song my mother whistled when she was about to hold my head into the water. She was all kinds of evil. I'm sorry that happened to you, Jason. Leave, Susie. The ladder takes you to the old lumber mill. You all know the way. You'll never see me again. Oh, he gave up. I still feel like I should be able to go back to my gun at some point. I don't trust him. Is he going to change his mind and start chasing after us? No? Maybe we really have escaped. Oh, how'd you know where I was? Susie, are you alright? Yes, sir. I am fine. How did you find me? We got a call from your boyfriend. He gave us the license plate of the killer's car. Susie, where is the killer? How did you get out? I managed to escape when he was away. I don't know where he is now. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Let's get out of here. I wonder why we lied. We know exactly where he is. Ah, oh, washed up mercy. Okay then, I'll trust you Andy. Come on in. Andy, what are you doing here? I was just walking by Susie. Saw some creep lurking around the house. You just happened to walk by my house? Andy, please stop this. Susie, please trust me. This guy was really shady. Believe me, Susie. Oh, I believe you. I might get a little traumatized. Damn, he cut the power. Can't see crap. Wait, I still have Joe's lighter in my pocket. The gun. The gun in my parents' bedroom. Got to get it. Damn. Is he inside the house? Now be quiet. All we gotta do is sneak upstairs and grab the gun. We know exactly where it is. Crap! Oh, the gun is empty! Dad keeps the ammo in the garage. Oh, I think I've already been stabbed. How many stab wounds can I possibly have? It's fine. No one sees anything. Oh, I can hide. I've got ya. Oh, well, I didn't even bother doing that. Oops. Some ammo and a spare key to the front door. Screw it. I have to go. Make sure he doesn't see me leave. Wait, I want to shoot him, though. Ah, oh, we can leave. All right, this is it. Oh. Crap. Hold it right there. Ass, I'm armed. Um, you know what? Shoot. I regret nothing. 
everybody's dead, including the cop. But I li oh, wait, you haven't got any bullet wounds, Mr. Craven. Susie, get down. There we go. So what happened to the one I shot? You all right, Susie? Heard a gunshot. It's okay. He can't hurt you anymore. He is dead. There's gotta be two though, right? I mean, I shot one. Oh my god. Is it gonna be my boss? Is he gonna be the second guy? Cause... Caleb did say he was waiting around for Dave to finish, right? Take his mask off. Fish in a barrel. Ending one. I, j I shot him though. Okay, how about this time we just leave? Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, oh, he's not outside today. Oh, that's unfortunate for us. So is this going to be different as well? Uh, what? Where am I? How nice of you to join me, Susie. Make yourself comfortable. Why are you doing this? You killed my boyfriend! Ex-boyfriend! That idiot did not even give you an umbrella like I did! K kayla It's you! But why? You know damn well what you did to me! All the blood is on your hands! I am the boar, as will you! Cleanse by the water! Wash away the guilt! Wash away my hate for you! Farewell, mother. Oh! He's gonna sit there and watch me drown, huh? Sunken secrets. I still feel like there should be two killers. I mean, it's just where we kept seeing his shadows, and I swear to god, there was so much blood on his coat after I shot him at the front door. If you enjoyed your time, I'd really appreciate you like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, here's Spooky Day and I'll catch you next time, guys.